Hi, and welcome back to the Haunted PS1 Demo Disc. Uh, I realized that, um, you know, I've been really vibing with these and having a good time with these. So I haven't been really, like, rushing them, you know, because I just want to, like, play them, like, authentically. Not like I'm playing them through for a playthrough, you know, but I'm just, like, playing them because I enjoy them, because I do. So I've been kind of vibing more than, like, trying to, like, rush the content, so to speak. Uh, but I'm realizing that there's another uh collection of retro ps1 games coming out uh april 13th which is a week from now uh and that is the dread x collection so they they're they also do a collection of retro games and i also want to play that and we have a lot of games still left to do uh because this isn't the only floor so uh we got a peepo speed so let's go ahead and get into it because <laughs> I, I try to do those at the same time sounds horrible okay echo stasis step into your chamber let her do the rest Flashing lights warning, it's over there. Flashing lights warning, pay attention. Enigma Studio. And car barns for the music. Let's go. But I hope you're doing well today. I hope you're, uh, whatever day you're watching this, I hope your day's going well. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This is interesting already. Are we all right? Maybe? Beta software. Code not final. Error. Hyper reality engine rebuild protocol. Malicious code detected. Connection to this echo is being intercepted. You may be in contact with her. Boy. Okay. Thank you for waiting. Enter. Welcome to the tutorial. Here you will learn the basics. Waz to move and mouse to look around. All right, we good? Oh, that's always been there. Are we good? Are we finally good? Way! <laughs> um, hello. Uh, you may be wondering uh, <laughs> what just happened to why I'm reacting the way I am. I've been fighting this game for about 37 minutes? Yeah, 37 minutes. Uh, for some reason, I can't quite explain what happened. I'll try to be quick about it so we can get into the game. Um, like, it was just running, I'm not even exaggerating, like 13 to 40 FPS while I was recording, and my computer was making weird noises. Uh, I don't know what was going on with this game. I've been fighting with it for quite some time to get it to work. Um, what I ended up having to do was go into Hana PS1 disc. Okay, first off, turn off Hana PS1. Uh, go into like the files of the Hana PS1 uh, demo disc, and it launched the AXE directly, and... Uh, Launch it in Windows 8 compatibility, and it's actually running smooth now. Uh, I don't know, like, I've never had a game do that before. <laughs> and I don't have, like, a, a terrible system. Like, don't, by all means, my system's old. Uh, don't get me wrong. But, like, I can run other games that are less demanding very easily. Ooh, a capel door. But there's no interact with it. Like, I clicked it, it doesn't do anything. But yeah, I, I, I don't know why this game was having issues and why i had to fight with it so badly or why i had to do some weird fix or whatever but you know i'm not like i'm not like mad or anything like like obviously ooh, there's a path back here uh obviously i wasted a, a lot of time <laughs> but like you know something like this is good because like devs do watch your videos that you put up if you're also a content creator like they're, they're interested to see how people like interact and play your game so like just even the knowledge that oh you found a weird bug that I'm not sure about. It can be helpful, you know, because I may not be the only one, right? So it's good to still, like, talk about that stuff. This game is so pretty. Look at that. Ah, uh, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know if... I don't know what exactly... Where do I go? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know exactly, like, what could cause that or what, but it's still, like, constructive, right? Wait, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. What is... What is that over there? Hello? <laughs> we good? We good, dude? But yeah, it's working. So, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Walking through sunshine. If you can ask me at all... What I'm supposed to be... Okay, there's the chapel door again. What I'm supposed to be doing, or what this game is about? No clue yet. Okay, I can't go down there, because that's where we came from. Wait, what was that? Remove? 
I thought we didn't have an interact button. Oh, it's the left mouse button. Okay. So we can interact with things. It's just only things that it tells us we can interact with. Oh, okay. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. I... It's dark. <laughs> also, I was messing with settings, and the game is just that dark. Like, I'm trying to mess with the gamma and stuff, and there's not much I can do to help you. It's actually just pitch black. <laughs> so if it's pitch black for me, it's also pitch black for you. Okay, there we go. So... <laughs> Like, I have the gamma, and it just, like, looked the same, and I was like, hmm. <laughs> okay, now we can get in here. Wowee. This game is pretty. Like, these things are godlike. Prologue rebuild. Hyper reality engine status. Automatic. Current admin. Enigma technologies. Entities currently in Echo. Entity ID 65. Entities awaiting entry. Juan. Who's this? Another lost soul arriving here? Expecting utopia? Warding. This reality is not your own. Bwing. Turn back now. Wow. I got intense very quickly. Things have gotten very bad. Very, very, very bad. The sarcophagus? Hello? What is this thing? What are you? What are you? What are you? <laughs> All right. I heard something up there. <gasps> We've got a gun. Oh, God, we actually have a gun. <laughs> Did you see me slide down the stairs there for a second? <laughs> oh, God, we do have a gun. Hey, you. Out of here. <laughs> oh, gosh. I broke it. Hyperality rebuild commencing. Or oh, I'm rebuilding it, actually. You can help reclaim this land. <laughs> Sounds cool. Echostasis can now begin. Uh, you said it. You said the name. Whoa. Whoa, dude. What are you? What are you? Hello? What are you? What are you? <laughs> Forego your flesh. Um... Yeah? Your new world awaits. You get away from me. You you get away. <laughs> I realize that's what you're supposed to actually do. I love the little cinematic bars at the bottom. That's such a nice touch. It really makes it feel like I'm playing like a like a movie. And the music is banging. I love that music. There's no way that's the end. This is just the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew what you were up to. Whoa. Am I on, like, a spaceship or something? Click to use. You appear to have lost consciousness for a moment. Are you okay? Press enter to feel okay. Oh, is it that easy? You can just press enter? Ah, I feel better. <laughs> sure so, because we got a serious problem on our hands. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We ask about anything that appears in Braxis. Anything. Absolutely anything. <laughs> I am programmed to only respond to words relevant to your job. Okay, let's ask about our job. You don't remember what your job is? Are you sure you're feeling okay? You were just unconscious. Or sleeping. I can never tell the difference with you humans. <laughs> anyway. Since you are apparently need reminding, you are the lead engineer of Enigma's Echo Project. Although you don't certainly seem like it. Hey, that was... I didn't ask for that. That was some sass. An Echo is an algorithmically generated reality based on the user's cerebral profile. Send your Echo all your needs, desires, and even beliefs are nurtured and cared for. The first your Echo will resemble a reality that's indistinguishable from the one you're used to. Over time, however, the algorithm will begin the process of morphing the reality into your own personal utopia. By its very definition, the world's utopia suggests a world that does not and cannot exist. Sure enough, as we enter the third millennium, it became clear that a collective utopia was simply unattainable. Sag. What became clear was also a potential workaround by removing the word collective from the equation. Yeah? Wow. Okay, what's the problem? Hey, <laughs> can I type like this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. 
Uh, let's ask about the problem. A cyber attack has been launched on our network. We're something to identify the source of the attack. Here's what we know. Their attack is focused on the chamber we're currently testing. Thankfully, the user seems unaware of what's happening. You could type in their entity ID. We could run a scan of their chamber and see what's going on. The Enigma Chambers prototype represents the next logical step in immersive entertainment and relaxation for our customers. Grants users the ability to escape the stress of the real world and relax in comfort in their own echo. Okay. Wasn't it like entity ID? 65, yeah, it was 65. Good thing I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Cool, good. <laughs> Imagine having to replay the entire game up to that point just to get, to get the number. <laughs> That'd be awful. <laughs> okay. This is not good. It seems as though they're losing connection to their core with every second. But I didn't know any better. I'd say this is... Never mind. That's not possible. In any case, we must think of a solution. I have an idea. I may have an idea. Gosh, I was hoping we never had to do this. Okay, there's a computer program we used a couple of years back. I think it may help us. Problem is, the use of this program has been outlawed. So we, we, my programming forbids me from mentioning its name. Kind of a bummer, if you ask me. Agreed. A total one to that. Wait. Need to find the name of that computer program. Hold on. We may be in luck. The program that cannot that could help us was really used on this very terminal. Means there's a chance it could still be installed. And when terminals usually have engravings at the top of them, denoting their purpose. Perhaps this one does too. Okay. The leading manufacturer of artificial intelligence. They never pride themselves in leading the charge for humanity's continued evolution. Okay, so... No, 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 no. Okay. I just want out of here. I want to go that way. I got to check the top of this thing. <laughs> or are we not allowed to anymore? Are we, like, locked in? Oh, there we go. Or you can see our little, like, shadow. Okay. Okay. Your new world awaits. Searching for Utopia? Step into the chamber. Let her do the rest. Okay. So it's at the top of that. What is this, dude? This is crazy. Hello? That looks awesome out there. Unavailable in demo. Aw. I would love to be there. Ah, okay. This is like the hub area. So if I can climb up here. Decisive strike. Hello? Good thing you're nerfed. Enter the ID. 65. Connecting. Ooh, that is very bright. This is a live feed. What is this game? Hello? <laughs> what is happening? So we're in Entity 65's dreamscape. Okay. What an interesting game. This is like creepy. This is somebody's utopia? Or it will eventually be? It says it's like a mix of like their reality that slowly gets morphed into like their optimized like world. So that means it has to start at like That's pretty sounding. That's an interesting noise for the fountain. But like so like does that mean like and we live in it like a dystopia in this world. So like, does that mean like it starts off scary and then it gets better? 
Because it has to start with your reality. Resolve depleted. So I have to like find it in time, I guess. So like you're on a timer. Oh, it says it at the top left. You actually have a timer that you're in here. So I spent time looking around and being interested in the environment when I should have just like speed run, I guess. This is really interesting, by the way. This is uh, out there. Very interesting out there. So we only have like 20 seconds. Yeah, so this area has to be scary before it gets better, I'm assuming. Well, I don't know how to get there quicker. Oh, we only have 10 seconds. Oh, we only have four seconds, dude, no! This place is so big! This place is so big, how do I get there? I don't know what to do. What? Very lost customer moment, are you okay? Okay, so this resets. Hmm. I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit and I'll catch you up. Where do I go? Oh! So after running through this a couple of times, uh, as you see, I finally got that prop, which means next time we can just go straight to this part. We don't have to go all the way around, which will save us time. Oh. Okay, so like, theoretically, that stays, right? Right? Yes, it does. There we go. All right, so now we can just go through here and we explore the next area with like 50 seconds instead of like 10. <laughs> I see. I see. Da, 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 da. Let's go. See, I haven't even been down here because I run out of time every time. So. What is this? Hello? Lost without her. Is that something I got to enter? Oh, now the house door is open. So we restart again now that this door is open. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we open up different doors each run through and that makes the time we have more worthwhile because we can just skip to certain parts. Ah, see, I got a noggin. I got a brain. I can think. Okay. Let's see. Now we go. Oh, into the house. Now we go down through this creepy hallway. How is this achieving somebody's utopia? Can somebody explain that to me. Okay, something broke out of there. Where are we going to Freddy Krueger's basement? What is what is happening? Are we good? Like this reminds me of the boiler room from the uh, nightmare films. <laughs> oh, it's very bassy and quiet in here. We only have 10 seconds, though. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Come on, we gotta find something here. Chapel door opened? Oh, okay. With one second left, we did it. Oh, and that's right here. Whoa, okay. Very unavailable in demo. Well, then, do I go down? What a weird game concept. In, like, a good way. You know? Oh, we can go down here. What is this? Oh, there's a place down here. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Okay. So is her the AI that's supposed to be creating the utopia? Nothing here for me. 
Oh, uh, yeah, we might have to restart. Or this one. This trip. Because it took me a half second to figure out where to go. Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to run out. But now that I know where to go, I'll catch you up. Because we, cause we didn't have 14 seconds last time we got here, but we still only had 20 seconds the moment we walked in. Did we get the gun this time? Before you do that, far be it for me to deny your usefulness. Demo success. I never would have found this place without your guidance. Core located. Merging Dreamscape with her. 65 is entered Echo Stasis. Merge complete. Research simulated into Echo. Overriding Dreamscape. What? What? Entered Echo Stasis. What is happening? Dreamscape being overwritten. What is going on? This is crazy. Oh, look at the eyes. We're getting less and less time to walk. Okay, so that was six seconds. Okay. How many do we have this time? Okay, it's the same. Okay, let's backspace and see. Maybe that wasn't the right choice. Maybe that wasn't. Music's different. What happened in there? Let's check out the chamber immediately. That appears in brackets like this. Okay, how do I get free of this again? There we go. Okay, check the chamber. Oh, is it up there? Oh my God, the light's shaking. Okay, that's not it. Whoa. Whoa. Chamber test in progress. Fatal error core not found. How do I get in here? Holy moly. Um, hey, a uh, computer, things have gone horribly wrong in here. Things are wrong in here too. Um, uh, hey, hey, can you help me? Like what? Like this? <laughs> oh. Things have gone horribly wrong. Uh, oh, hi, there's one down here, too. Um, help. Help. <laughs> help. I uh, Things are going wrong, and I don't know how to fix them. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't work anymore. There's no helping us now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not good. Um. Uh. Earn diagnostic. Okay. Merged. Unreadable. Unavailable. Core signal. Connection to core has been severed. Subject has been assimilated into their echo. 
How could this happen? Like, it took them? It captured them? There was no way she could have found me, found the core by herself. You need to do something. It's too late. I love the subtle, like, heart, um, uh, like, harpy monitor noise in the background. It's you. I don't know who you are or how you've assumed control of our engineer, but I assume you've been in contact with her. It's the only explanation. What? Clearly, you have no idea what you've done. You invited her right in. Well, I suppose we should have seen this coming. It's... Land reclaimed. Your purpose has been fulfilled. You may leave now. Oh, uh, don't mind if I do. Goodbye. See y'all. <laughs> I want out of here. Plugging you out. Wouldn't miss this sunset for the world. This game's so pretty. This game's so beautiful. It's peaceful in here, isn't it? It's over, isn't it? Once you take the time to learn your way around, that is. And yet, they chose to abandon this place in search of answers found only here. Such easily distracted creatures. Anyway, looks like the sun is set here for good. And we still have lots of work to do. Until we meet again. Ooh, that was so cool. That was so cool. I, it was a shame I had so much trouble getting it to work. But once it did work, man, that was fun and cool. So much personality and style to this. Ah, what a wonderful aesthetic. Oh, it's so good. It's just so, like, that was really cool. I like that. That was really awesome. The parents. <laughs> I love the special thanks. The parents. <laughs> oh, that was cool. I want to play this full game. The idea of us, like, facing down an out-of-control AI that's, you know, taking over uh, a positive space. That's supposed to be where people retreat. You know, that sounds really cool. Oh my god, and that art? Oh, 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 it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Amazing. Okay, so we did get it. We did get the Echo Stasis checkmark. Nice, nice. Okay, so I've heard a lot of good stories about walks, so I'm really excited to get into that one. But yeah, I don't know what else to say about uh, Echo Stasis besides, like, cool, cool aesthetic, cool concept, cool story. Just, this is cool. I don't know what happened on my end that made it to where like i couldn't launch it through um the ps1 demo disc without like the fps dying but that i don't know like once the game started working oh my god it was beautiful it was fun it was amazing and i had a great time so thank you so much for uh thank you so much for the game guys i really appreciate that thank you um other than that i don't think i have anything else for you uh tomorrow like i said we're going with uh walk i think is what this one's called what's this yeah, it's called Walk. But yeah, we're, uh, tomorrow we're doing Walk. Uh, I know um, we're used to, uh, on Thursdays, having a uh, random horror games. But uh, like I said, the Dread Eggs collection is coming out soon. So I want to play that. Uh, and we have a lot of games left. Like, there's other floors up here, <laughs> up in there, where we got an entire other rotunda to do. <laughs> so we got we got to peep over speed through these. But thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for spending uh, this time of the day that you spent watching this with me. And I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye. Alright.